हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स गो फॉर नेक्स्ट वीडियो फॉर अ प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ ग्रुप थ्योरी इन द लास्ट वीडियो व्हाट आई हैव डन आई हैव जस्ट एक्सप्लेन व्हाई दिस ग्रुप थ्योरी इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिमेट्री बट टुडे वी विल जस्ट ट्राई टू गिव यू द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ ग्रुप एंड व्हाट आर द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ ग्रुप एंड व्हाट इज एक्चुअली ग्रुप एंड एंड वी हैव टू जस्ट डिस्कस द डिफरेंट बेसिक a theory behind that particular group what is to be the property of that particular group so let's try to go for definition of group so what you have you can define a group and that group is nothing but a collection of some element and that will be a b c and so on there are different collections of element and we have to also define a multiplication and that is not a general multiplication that is number multiplication this multiplication is some type of operation it may be some abstract operation it may be some physical operation for example if i am talking about physical operation that means rotation is one of the very beautiful example of physical operation so you have to define some element and the operation between the element and sometime the operation itself is a part of group and the number of group number of element so number of element may be finite may be finite finite or infinite it is uh, not necessary that total number of group in a group is your always finite it may be finite and it may be infinite when the number is finite number of element is finite it is known as finite group when the number is infinite it is known as infinite group and there are some more property for the group so let's try to go for understanding all these property so the first property is all about closer relation what is that if a is the element which belongs to the group g and the same time what we have b is the element which also belongs to group g and then we have defined any operation o is some operation and what will happen a operation b also belongs to the same group this is known as what closer relation simply if a is belongs to the group b belongs to same group and if you are doing some operation a and b then it is also belongs to the same group i am just talking about same group so first is what you have to follow the closer relation but it is also very important that in general a operation b is not equal to b operation a in general but what will happen when a operation b is equal to b operation a it is known as abelian group so this is a special character of the abelian group so this is very interesting second property is all about the associative property in this particular associative property what we have we have a operation b we are first doing a operation b and then whatever we are finding we are just going for the operation with the c is exactly equal to a first we are going for b operation c 
and then we are going for A. So this will follow the associative property. So the elements belongs to the same group will follow the associative property. And the next is very interesting. The next must be there is existence of existence of identity. So what is that? This is very interesting. In a group, there must be one element. If that element is going to have operation with A, what we will find? We will find A. And identity is uniquely defined. Identity is uniquely defined. What is meaning of that uniquely defined? We will discuss it into the when we will go for the example. And when you are operating identity from the left, it is known as left identity. And when you are operating identity from the right, you have right identity. So this is very interesting. You have to define some identity E that is going to op operate on A and some multiplication, some operation A, you will get A. So this is your existence of identity. And next what do you have? You have there must be existence of inverse. Means A belongs to some group, then there must be some element that is A inverse also belongs to this group. And what will happen? A inverse A will give the identity and this identity is same one and here you will have this identity also belongs to this particular group. So what you have in a group there must be some inverse that is going to be operate on A. So you have something like this A inverse is going to operate on A you will get E. So there must be existence of identity and if some collections of element, some collections of operation have all these property, then you can say these are known as what? Your, these are known as group, okay? So this belongs to some group, okay? And uh, your group may be abelian or non-abelian. So in the next video, we will just try to solve two problem. So first I will give you this problem. And then in the next video, we will try to solve it. So what is the first question? The first question is that, prove that cube root of unity. So what is cube root of unity? 1 omega and omega square. And omega square, or sorry, omega cube is equal to 1. So this is property of cube root of unity. So you have to prove that this is my first question, that this cube root of unity under a simple multiplication. So prove that, prove that cube root of unity under the simple multiplication. is abelian group is abelian group and second question is that the collection of all possible integer the collection of all possible integer including negative and positive so this is collection of all possible integer under simple addition, uncle, under simple addition is group. Okay? And we have to also prove that it is also abelian group. Okay? So students, if you have number of element is finite and here is the three element, so dimension of group is three and here you have number of element will be infinite. You have all possible integer, minus one, minus two, minus 10, 
minus 100, 1, 2, 3, all possible integer in this particular group has infinite number of elements. So this belongs to infinite dimensional group. So here, this is your homework. Just try to solve this particular homework. I will discuss this problem into next short video and then we will go for next level of analysis about the group theory. Thank you.